Hello fantastic creatures and fantasims and we are making history on this channel today because I have never done a gameplay video but today we are testing out the new dream home decorator game pack. So I have a couple of goals to test out the gameplay. First, to not try hard and decorate however the heck I please and to destroy people's homes and see what happens. So let the madness commence. Now to decorate I need a sim that means business and so I'm choosing my sage of practical magic because he looks like a boss. I know, I know, he's a fantasy sim and we're doing normal gameplay but you know me, I can't help it. So we are going to try out the new stuff that comes with the pack, the cast for him. Okay, and these are the hairs we're working with. So we've got this one. Um, I'm not feeling it. It's not too bad, I guess. I probably shouldn't have picked a magical sim because he keeps wiggling. I, I always like trying the female hairs on male sims. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. He actually looks really cool with that hair. Yeah, let's give him that one. Ooh, let's try the, this one. That one actually looks cool. Oh, I don't know which one. Let's do the braids without the baby hairs. Let's see what we have in the clothes category. Okay, this is what we have to work with. We've got, oh no, he doesn't look so tough anymore. Um, <laughs> you know what? I thought that this top looked really ugly in the trailers, but I think he's working it. I think he looks good. Maybe not with these weird tattoos, but these look like pajamas. Ooh, this jacket's pretty cool. Or there's this one. That's not so bad. Let's see what swatches we've got. We've got, they're all very brightly colored. Okay, so I put him in the male clothes that come with this pack and they don't really look as tough. I got rid of some of his magical looking tattoos, but you know what? I think he can still pull off that whole boss vibe. Okay, so Simeon is now an interior decorator and at level one, he's an interior color consultant and I can select a gig. So let's select a gig from the menu. Oh, so some of them are grayed out, so we have to be at a higher level. So we can do a room renovation and that's it. So there's only one option that we can do. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we got a warning one hour ahead of time before our gig and it tells us that we need to go to the client's lot on time to chat with them about what they're looking for before we start the reno. Okay, it's time for work, time to design and we can go with them or we can send them alone to a rabbit hole and I'm gonna try that out later to see how that works. But this time for our first gig, let's go with him. So we've arrived at the lot, we have to take before Four photos and get to know the client. So we're going to knock on the door. Okay, so here we are. Let's start off on a good note. So we're going to be respectful. Look at her. She's just watching TV while I'm here to work. She seems awfully flirty. No, I will not kiss you. Okay, let's discuss decor trends. We can ask to see the mood board. So she wants a farmhouse. I don't know if they all look the same. I like that there's not a time limit in within which to get to know them before you send them away because it takes me forever to click on everything. This time we're going to see the Simtrest board. Let's see if it's different. Oh, it is different. So they have different screens. Okay, so now we know enough about the client that they don't like fitness, they don't like pink, and they don't like yellow. I haven't even paid attention to what room exactly I'm renovating. All it says is room renovation, so does that mean this living room? Like, how do you know which one it is? Okay, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna do the living room. Okay, so now I need to take before photos. So you click on your sim, phone cameras, or the ground to take before photo. You can tell I don't play this game very often. Okay, so click on the ground and we can click. Okay, take before photos, hit play. Shush, I'm trying to take pictures. Oh, okay, here we go. All right. Okay, let's take this. How do you take a screenshot? Do you just click enter? I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, let's take one from this side through this doorway. Okay, I just took three basic photos because I don't really care about being fancy. And then what do we do? Do we send them away? Yep, let's send them away. Okay, yep, get rid of the beasts. And then I guess now we go into build mode and we get this over here in the corner if you click on the house icon that way you can get you can be reminded of the things that they don't want and there is a restriction no new floor tiles allowed so we have to work with this brown tile. Boo. Okay so I'm just gonna mess around with some objects and see what I come up with. Okay something I noticed that in build mode if you click on an object and then click delete it moves it to your inventory but it doesn't increase the money that you get from it but if you use the sledgehammer tool then it increases your budget. So let's increase our budget. Oh, you can delete the window. You can delete everything. Can you delete other stuff in their home too? <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna get mad at me for deleting all of their stuff. I'm gonna delete all their stuff and then see what happens. Oh my goodness, I can delete all of their outside stuff too. <laughs> Look at my budget. They're gonna be so mad at me. <gasps> I can even delete all of their upstairs stuff too. I'm like the freaking Grinch. I've stolen everything. Look at this. I took everything from the first floor and now I'm going to take everything from the second. They still didn't say what room I'm supposed to be renovating. So apparently, I don't know if that means I can access any of them. I thought you were only allowed to access one room, but you weren't allowed to access all the floors. Okay, there is nothing left. I took everything. It's completely empty. It's a naked house, except I kept the stairs and the front doors and doors so I can move in and out of the room. 
soon, but it's all gone. And look at my budget, 57 grand. So let's just do something crazy and see what happens. Do you love it? I spent two seconds putting this together, filling it with tons of llamas. So let's see what they think of this monstrosity. So I guess we go back over into live mode and click on the ground maybe, interior decorator. Okay, let's take our after photos. We're not in the same position, but I don't even care. Oh, you can change that. I didn't know you could do that. It has a flash. I know nothing. Ooh, we could do filters. Whoa, that's so ugly. Let's do that one. Yeah, let's do this one. Ah, gotta get all those llamas in the shot. This is the most gorgeous room I've ever decorated. Perfect. They don't even match where I put the original pictures, but oh well. Okay, so let's be done with that. Then, okay, how do we call them back? Um, click on this. How do we reveal? Oh, so we click on the sim. We can use the phone or use the relationship panel to call the clients back to the lot. Okay, so before, after, um, whatever, I don't even care. I hope they get really mad at me. Yes, let's host the reveal event. Let's see what happens. I took all your stuff. They're looking nervous. Come on, come inside already. Oh, I guess we're supposed to show off the objects? Oh, okay. Come inside and look at how I destroyed your home. <laughs> oh, we're lagging. What's happening? Oh, okay. Okay, the video's not working properly. Whatever, the video didn't work properly, but that's okay. <laughs> they're crying and they're mad. <laughs> and apparently I'm happy about it. Check this out. Oh, you have to actually click on objects. So they're upset with me, but they're pumped about the objects. And I guess then you chat with the clients. They're all gloomy. It'd be cool if like they got into a fist fight if they were mad at you. So what do I talk to them about? Does anything? Let's be mean. Let's argue. Oh, she's ready. I guess you don't have to talk to them. I don't know. Ask for the final verdict. Yeah, she's angry. I ruined your house! <laughs> but now she's smiling? That's just weird. What's your final verdict? Let's see what the kid thinks. He is not pumped. Okay, so we just have two more. Let's see what the dad has to say. <laughs> He's mad too. Let's see what the daughter thinks. She loved it. She's like, thank you for stealing everything in my house. I earned nothing and my professional reputation dropped significantly. <laughs> Okay, let's go home. Okay, so even though my reputation dropped significantly, I was already on the lowest level, so it probably obviously isn't going to go any lower than that, but I still can do one gig to start off again, so it just didn't advance me to the next level. So we'll try the next one, and this time I'll actually do a good job. And it seems like we can only do one gig a day, so I'm just speeding through the day, waiting until tomorrow. Even though it's super boring, me just waiting around for my sim, I will say the benefit of having it not take up time to go and do your work is that you then have the rest of the day to, like, you could get other stuff done, because it doesn't take up any of the t real world time other than you interacting with the household that you're renovating. Okay, so since I'm lazy, I am going to pull up the cheat console and type in careers.promote.deco and just level us up and pretend that the last gig that we did was a good one <laughs> and then let's see what happens for this next one but I just realized we already accepted a gig so it's not going to affect the gig that we're doing right now but it'll probably if I do a good job on this one I'll still be able to level up to the next level hopefully okay so it's past nine o'clock and I didn't get a pop-up to go to work so I don't know if using the cheat meant that I don't have to go do that gig anymore it still says I have the gig though so how do I don't even know how do I get there but apparently I have until 9 p.m so guys I don't know what I'm doing where do I how do I go there where is the Spencer Kim Lewis household maybe we can look for it okay so here they are I'm just gonna try traveling there and see if that works okay it worked so if the pop-up doesn't come up you just have to find them in the world and so long as you do it before 9 p.m you'll probably get a bad reputation for being late but oh I guess the pop-up was just delayed so maybe that's the lag of one of the glitches people have been experiencing so many pop-ups I don't want to go to your stupid festival so it seems like when it just says room renovation you can just pick any room in the house and you can decorate it also side note they should really let us uh, decorate and, f and fix the exterior because I mean what is this house we definitely need to do a reno on this house actually I wonder if you could cheat the system by going in before you accept gigs and redoing their homes through build mode and then I wonder if that way you can do the exterior and then do the interior through gameplay Ooh, I think I'm onto something I'm gonna try it okay so I actually have the idea what if I change absolutely nothing will they even notice will it register that I have done nothing I'm gonna try it okay so we're gonna reveal the renovations that I didn't even do okay let's go inside and see that I did absolutely nothing
Okay, so it did have a consequence. My professional reputation dropped and I earned nothing. In fact, they wouldn't even let me go in their home, so so they were really not pleased with me. Okay, so I'm a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, and I promoted myself several times. So you, from where we started off, you could then get promoted to space manager. You get a bonus, 485 simoleon, some new clothes, and you get some more challenging gigs. Then the next one is decorating consultant. Then you get a 600 simoleon bonus, and you can now discuss the latest trends. And then the next one up is building space planner that's a 765 simoleon bonus you get the patterns and shapes rug that's the unlockable rug or you can just cheat like i do in build mode then the next one up is home organizer 900 simoleon bonus new clothes so that unlocks like the um the overalls the next one up is home decorator and that's 1215 simoleon bonus and new clothes so maybe there's like two overalls that they can get or something like that so that must unlock that one and then you get promoted to business business interior designer where you get 2100 simoleon bonus and you can now write interior decorator articles on the computers then the next one above that is an interior designer you get 2500 simoleons and you can now suggest bold home makeover ideas so this is where you can actually influence your clients and i don't know if there's one above that let's try it out careers.promote.deco Okay, so the next one up is Certified Interior Designer, 3,150 simoleons. You get the laptop. Okay, and that is the very top one because I just did it and all it did was add more influence points. So that seems to be the top tier. Now let's see what kind of gigs we can access at the top of the top. We've got more gigs we can choose from that pay way more, almost two grand. And we can select room renovations. We can do a room addition so we can build our own rooms. We can do a whole level. Oh, this is level addition, so you can actually add a level to the home. We can do a level renovation but I wonder where like the industrial gigs are because these are all household residential households oh here we go duh <laughs> you click on this and then commercial I see okay okay but there doesn't seem to be any available to me the cheek of it okay so let's see how a level addition works and let's do the land grabs oh the pay is 25 grand heck yeah let's do this one Woohoo! so you can get real good money you can make bank off of some of these gigs okay let's do it okay now before we go over to make the Benjamins baby Let's try out these career bonus outfits. Okay, so here they are. It's these overalls here with all the paint all over them. I like those. Or there's this cleaner version. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. I don't know if I love the color options. Like they're, they're all like super duper bright. Whoa. Wait, where were they? Whoa. Those are like kids overalls. <laughs> Oh man, whoa. I mean, those kind of do look like construction work type colors, but um, not particularly my taste. That doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. I just kind of prefer my neutrals. I think I'm just going to keep him in the white and gray. Let's change his shoes to go. I do really like the shoes that come with the pack. But there seems to be a glitch on mine where I don't know if it does that on other people's, but it doesn't show the color swatches. You just kind of have to scroll over and see if you like which ones they are. Let's give him some white shoes to match. <laughs> Simeon, what am I doing to you? Okay, so I'm at my gig with the land grabs. And now that we have leveled up to the very top of our career, we can click in this uh, category when we're chatting with them, the interior decorator. And now we have all of these things that we can talk about that we couldn't before. So you can talk about previous projects, suggest bold home makeover ideas. I'm actually going to try this one and see if I can persuade them. So let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, so I don't know if I influenced this. No, they just told me that they liked mixology. Sounds about right with the land grabs. <laughs> so I think he's trying to suggest red to them. Oh, hold on. No, I don't know that I was able to influence anything. Like, how do you tell? Okay, we can suggest a different decor style. So let's see what happens here if it changes anything. Okay. It did. It changed this. So apparently I influenced them to dislike island decor. <laughs> so I guess you can influence them to things they don't like as well as things that they do like. Okay, so this time I'm going to try suggesting bold home makeover ideas. You're seriously taking a shower while I'm trying to talk to you about the designs. Okay, so I was able to influence that they like painting. Okay, so they like yellow. I do not like yellow, so I'm going to try and influence them to change that color. More choices, interior decorator. Okay, yeah, you can suggest a different color. Let's do that, because I don't want to decorate with yellow. Look at my power. I have changed it to orange, which I also do not like. So let's try it again. Yes, look at my power. I have made him dislike green, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted him to like a color, a specific color. So let's try it again. 
stuff. And it seems like you can't um, ask teenagers or kids what they want. Like there's not a category to ask for their influence. It just seems to be the parents. He likes pink. Okay, I can work with that. Pink's not my favorite, but I like it a lot better than yellow and orange. So let's go for pink. Okay, so I'm not quite sure how building a new level works. Oh, okay. It tells you here that you're restricted to the top floor. So we're allowed to build a fourth floor. It doesn't say that there's a limit on tile size. So I'm assuming that I could make it even bigger than this size right here. Let's see. Yeah, I can make it as big as I want. <laughs> Look at that. I could make it as big as a lot if I wanted to, but I won't. For the sake of this video, I'll just keep it the exact same size. Okay, so I've run into a bit of a snag because I just added this floor and all I did was try to mimic what the floors below look like, even though I think this is absolutely ugly. But <laughs> anyway, I just tried to make it look identical and I've already gone over budget and I haven't even put anything inside of it. So it seems like if you're doing a whole level renovation, the budget just doesn't seem big enough. So I might have to just do a tiny room with a small staircase. Okay, I got rid of the wallpaper and this is what I'm left with this tiny little room. Well, I guess it's not tiny, but it is small. And I've only got a thousand simoleons left. So how how on earth am I going to decorate anything for a thousand simoleons? I mean, can I get away with deleting some stuff? Like not demolishing the whole home like I did before, but like, will they notice if I just like delete a few items? I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out and see if they get mad at me. Okay, so I slapped this together and it fits all of the requirements. It's a mixology here. No island living stuff. It's got all of contemporary design. It's got paintings and it's pink and we are barely within budget so let's see if they even notice that I stole a bunch of stuff from the floor below to pay for it. Oh I just got a pop-up from Alice Spencer Kim saying I won't lie I'm not happy with the oh I lost it where did it go I lost the text <laughs> anyway <laughs> she's giving me a second chance so let's see so I don't know I don't know what to do with that I don't know if that'll show up as the next gig or whatever so I don't know but first we have to deal with the land grabs okay so I decided to bypass the personally showing them around the lot and I earned 30 grand instead of the 25 grand that I was supposed to and my professional reputation improved significantly. So apparently they didn't notice that I nicked some of their stuff to pay for it. <laughs> so maybe the moral of the story is don't demolish all their stuff and they won't notice. Just demolish some of it. Now that they have a, an average reputation, because I didn't actually build a reputation, I just cheated their career level. Um, let's see how quickly you can make it fall. Okay, so here is the Kim renovation, the returning client. It shows up as the top. They want another room renovation. So let's see what happens if I go and do a terrible job again. Okay, something that just dawned on me is look, just to renovate one of the rooms, wh whichever one I choose, I have a client budget of nine and a half grand and that's not even after I've sold a bunch of stuff in the room, which is way more than I was given to do an entire level because that just doesn't seem right to have so much more just to do a room than to do an entire level. Okay, so this time I'm not going to steal everything in the building, but I just demolished everything in the room and I'm not, oh, I missed one thing and I'm not going to add anything to it and I'm going to see if I lose reputation and how much reputation I lose for this. It's kind of irritating too to always have to do this before and after photo thing. It'd be nice if you could just bypass it. Okay, so my reputation improved and I earned money even though I demolished everything in the room. So, oh, I did change the wallpaper though. I forgot I actually did change the wallpaper, but that's the only thing that I added to the room. Everything else was demolished. So I guess you can just delete everything and just leave wallpaper and you'll get rewarded for it. <laughs> so, man, this is, this is a, this is a great scam. I should take Simi into the streets and start a criminal empire and scam all the Sims by selling all their stuff to get a bonus. Also, I just noticed I accepted a gig and then I cancelled it and the clients were shocked. They are incredibly saddened, even at a loss for words upon receiving your resignation. And I lost a bit of my reputation. So it's because I changed my mind and I wanted to do a different gig. So apparently if you choose a, a gig and then you later cancel it, um, it's going to affect your reputation. So that's actually kind of cool that there's actually a consequence for your actions. And even though I'm at a top level of my career, um, the commercial things available to me, there's only one and that's bathroom. So it seems like the commercial gigs, you still have to build your reputation with the commercial lots. Bef even if your career level is high, you still have to start at the bottom by starting off with a bathroom addition and then work your way up from there. So we're just going to try this one. This is going to be the last one else. This video is going to be ridiculously long, but it seems like there's a lot more to explore, which is a good thing that I can't fit it all in one video. Okay, so our gig is here at the pub on a gloomy day in Windenburg. And when it's a commercial lot, they actually send a representative on behalf of the company and you interview them in the exact same way way that you do with regular residential homeowners. So for this renovation, I need to build a lavatory and it's going to be an addition. So I have no clue where to put it other than maybe get rid of this back patio area because upstairs there's already a massive loo. Like why do we need to build another one? But that's OK. 
Okay, and I'm going to make it super gross and grungy. Now, we can build up to 32 tiles for this addition, but I was just lazy and I put it in the back. And I want to test the AI of this game pack by instead of actually building a lavatory like I'm supposed to, I'm just going to fulfill the likes and dislikes here and see if, if they notice that I didn't actually make a bathroom. So if you click on the icon of what they like and dislike, it will show up in the menu. Those objects that go along with the style will show up in the menu. So I've put a workbench and then for dancing, you don't, you can do the dance floor, but anything to do with music. Oh, and apparently mirrors. And then for the Cosmo Lux decor, we've got these options here. So I'm just going to be lazy and put in a light like that. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to see if they, I'm going to see if it ruins my reputation. Oh, I just noticed through the phone, you can convince your boss to give you a bonus and you can negotiate a bonus. That's really cool. I have to try that. Okay. So sadly I earned the money and my professional reputation improved, which is not what I was looking for. So, so long as you fulfill their likes and dislikes, it seems like they're going to give you a positive review, even if you didn't actually do the job you were supposed to. Okay. So I need to wrap this video up. So I wasn't able to test everything out and I still wasn't able to figure out how long it takes to ruin your reputation. And if it demotes you to the lower career level, and if so, how many times ruining a gig will you get demoted? So far, the only thing that has ruined the reputation is completely destroying their homes or just not doing any work at all. So it seems way too easy to satisfy clients. Now I've only done a few gigs, so maybe over time, even if you try your best, they still might not like it. So I can't say with certainty. So what did we learn? Well, first I'm rubbish at gameplay, but I did have fun and I will probably do more gigs in the future. Um, demolishing all their stuff made them sad and angry and lost me my paycheck. So there was a small consequence. Changing nothing gets you nothing. Well, it gets you a bad reputation, but you can delete everything from a room, change the wallpaper and still improve your career. You can make bank when you level up 25 grand and more with a bonus for level renos, but most gigs pay smaller amounts, which is good for people who don't like easy gameplay. So I'm going to go over the pros and cons and let's start with the cons so that we can end on a more positive note. <laughs> but the cons for me are it feels a bit lonely. Like with vampires and realm of magic, you can really interact with other Sims in unique ways like casting spells, drinking their blood, manipulating their lives. But for this pack, gameplay is limited to conversation categories with Sims with a few new animations. So it's mostly just talking with them and then their reaction at the end whether good or bad which affects reputation but it didn't seem to affect your personal relationship with the NPC in general and other than that there is no other gameplay the Maxis exteriors of buildings are I'm sorry to say this but they're quite ugly except for newer packs like snowy escape so you can't fix the outside or change the sizes of rooms unless you do an addition you can't renovate entire lots only rooms or levels within a lot which means that it prolongs the gameplay but it just limits you if you want to come up with entirely your own style with your own shapes of the rooms however you can edit how is before you accept reno gigs and just do the rooms or levels through gameplay but that's no different than just doing the whole thing in build mode without the game pack in fact all of this can be done in build mode without any gameplay the only difference is the before and after interactions with the npc townies so it's kind of like a random generator challenge that a lot of simmers do where the style color and budget are randomly generated by an app or a website for free sometimes your design choices have a consequence but you can get away with deleting stuff from other parts of the house and only giving them wallpaper with an empty room and still reap the monetary benefits of scamming people which is great for a criminal empire if you want to rob sims on the daily but otherwise it makes the effort seem a bit pointless but the nostalgia of interacting with npcs might be exciting to many players too so while the theme of this pack is a fun idea it didn't feel like a game pack just a sim having a couple conversations and an emotional reaction for a few seconds the simulation lag also made it take forever to interview in larger houses level additions also have a budget that is so low that you end up only being able to build a small room which seems no different than the room addition category so all in all i didn't find the gameplay super exciting but at the same time it's more repeatable than other packs we've had and I get overwhelmed with large building projects so it is nice to just do one smaller project at a time. So again to me it feels like a random generator challenge that you can do for free online but you do get the bonus of interacting with the other sims which is fun just maybe not $20 worth of fun. However like I said in my build buy review there are so many objects in the pack that from a builder's perspective it's totally worth the price. Now for the pros reputation does influence career level and it's separate from it so that you can be at the top of your career but still gain and lose your reputation which means that even if you max out your career level Level, there's still more to be done. It also gets you to interact with the NPCs in a way I would never bother to do with my gameplay. Not that I play much anyway. It gets builders to dig into gameplay as well and it incorporates the fun of doing build challenges in smaller sizable ways and you can influence a sim's likes and dislikes when you level up. However, they didn't seem to show any resistance to your influence which makes it too easy. There are some consequences to doing ba a bad job or cancelling a gig. So like you don't make money, you lose your reputation, eventually I'm assuming you get demoted and you can get away with stealing a few items to pay for the run of just don't steal all their stuff. So this might be a pro to some and a con to others because maybe it makes it too easy. I will say it is a lot less repetitive than all the other active careers because with active careers you are literally doing the same thing over and over again. Like if you're a doctor you're checking on the patients in the same list of activities every single time you do that job.
job. At least here you can come up with different designs and earn different amounts each day and choose different gigs. And some of the requests are really wacky, so it's a fun challenge to try and incorporate those items. And the likes and dislikes also cause you to work with styles and colour schemes you might not normally do. So what about you guys? What do you think? Based on the gameplay so far, do you think it's worth it? And if you've been playing it, let me know the things that you really like and dislike about this pack as well. Of course, these are just my opinions. And if you want to see me do more gameplay videos, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, I freaking love you guys. Thank you.